Hi everyone, I'm Alaa Jadi. Welcome back to Music Greatness. For today's lesson, I'm going to break down J. Cole by Haeres Coyote. It sounds just like this. Okay, for this first part, I'm going to break down the first two sections of the song. That's the intro and also the verse. We're starting in the key of D, in the key of D major, and the first chord that we're going to play is D6. With octave D on the left, F sharp and B, right hand, like this. Then after playing that, I have C sharp, followed by F sharp, right hand, going up to this, so E minor, E minor 7 at 11, I'm playing E and G on my left. That's a pretty large position, if you cannot play it, you can use octave E. And right hand, I have D, E, and A on top. Going to this. That's G minor 9 at 6. So G and F on the left, A, A sharp, and E on top. Okay, so once again, I have D6, E minor. Then G minor 9 at 6. So it goes like this. So pretty much I'm playing the same chord progression but changing the voicings and also some notes added on my right hand. So, like I said, we have D6, then C sharp, F sharp, going up on E minor. And I'm going to play the chord twice. And just after that, we're playing our G minor chord. Then here, we're going to replay the tap note on the left, that's F, followed by all the notes on the right hand. And then I'm going to get back to D6, playing this. So D, C sharp, C, and then B. And landing on B, right hand, we have D on the left, starting this arpeggio of D, A, and then F sharp. again from G okay doing that on the left I'm going to play again C sharp F sharp right hand going up on E minor playing now on the right hand D G and B then I have one single note played up here that's D Going 
seven. So G minor seven. Same notes. But now I have A, A sharp, D, and F on my red hand. And then I'm going to go up playing this. A sharp, D, F, and A. That's for the left with C and A. So knowing that the bass is on G, right now we're playing a G minor 11 chord. We have the 7th, the 9th, and the 11th. And we're playing once again the 9th on top of here. And that's your intro. So let's play it again. All right, perfect. We can now start breaking down what we have in the verse. Let's start with the chords. We have D major seven once again. So, octave D on the left with A, C sharp, and F sharp. Going to this, G minor 9, G and F, A, A sharp, and D. And then after that, we have D major 7 with octave D. F sharp, A, C sharp. And then I'm going to switch to D minor 7 with F and C. Okay. I'm going up by a whole step on E minor 7. Octave E, G, B, D. And finally, I'm playing F major. F, F, A, and C. So, quick recap D major 7, G minor 9, D major 7, different voicing, D minor 7, E minor 7, and So, for the verse, I came up with something that can be learned easily, so you don't have to play exactly what's being played in, in the song. So, rhythmically, we're starting with five measures. The first measure of these five measures, we're going to count up to seven beats. And then for the rest, we're going to count up to eight beats. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep that in mind. Here it is. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so like I said, first measure, we're going to count up to seven beats. So we have D measure seven. Then I'm going to replay the tap note on my left and then play the arpeggio on my right hand of A, C sharp, and after that F sharp, like this. And then here, basically, I'm going to play around the notes that I have. So that's G and F, A, A sharp, and D. You can play the three notes on your right hand play that with the tap note on the left, like this. I'm going to do this a lot over this chord. One, two, three, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So like I said, I simply played the three notes on my right hand with the tap note. After that, I'm going to play my second voicing of D major 7, then E minor, going up on 
G once again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So once again here, I played around with the three notes on my right hand and the tap note on the left. And before landing on D minor seven, that's the next chord. I did this movement on my left, F, D, G. So that's one thing you can use over this G on a nine chord. Now back to the chord progression. After that, we have D minor seven, E minor seven, F and then G minor 9 once again, but we're going to first play the root note and then complete with the rest, like this. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, we've done three measures out of the five. Here's the last two. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So pretty much we have D minor seven, E minor, and then G minor. So play D, E minor, and then G. Once again, play around. And then for the last measure, we're playing D. And before landing on E, we have B followed by C sharp, then E minor 7. Then play one quick G before playing G minor 9. Then finish with A, A sharp, and F. A sharp, D, and A. Okay, from the top. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, one. So that was the first part of the first verse. Here's the second one. Two, three, four. Okay, so here, once again, we have D, minor 7, going to G minor 9, counting in 7 beats, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then next measure, counting in 8 beats, we have D minor 7, E minor 7, and then G minor 9, followed by another measure, now with D minor, E minor, F, G on the bass, and then complete with the rest. Pretty much just like the first measures in the verse. Once again, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're back on D major 7 with this voicing, so F sharp, A, C sharp, right hand. We're going to move up to E minor and then G minor 9. And then for the last two measures, we're going to play this.
So that's the ending of the verse. Okay, so we're starting with this D minus seven chord. Okay, but we're changing the voicings from this to this. So octave D, A, C, F, moving up on E minus seven, from this to this, B, D, G. Then we have F, now F major seven with C, E, and A, right hand. Once again, play G, the root note alone, then this. So I played F, B flat, D with F on my left. Then one single C, right hand. And I'm going to hold on to that C up here and then play G, left, C, F, A on the right hand. Then I'm going to replay all those notes. So only G, C, F, A, and C. Once again from D minus seven. Finally, we're going to play this movement. So, starting from a D major 7 position. Arpeggiate D, A, D, C sharp, F sharp, C sharp. Like this, then play F sharp, C sharp. To this, D9, add 13. So C, E, and B. With octave D on the left. And then here I replayed C, E, B. Then I'm going to replay the tap note on the left, followed by C, E, B once again. Going up on F major seven. Finishing the verse, I'm going to play five times G minor nine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's replay once again the second part of this verse. Two. Three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Okay, perfect. If you got everything, let's replay that verse. Slow tempo. If you do not, simply rewatch the video, practice, practice some more, and then get back to it. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Voice. 
voicings with D minor 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's the verse. Okay, let's replay that once again without counting. Perfect, let's recap and replay that at full speed now. And that's all for this first part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe.